Map fans, today we are looking at points to line and we're going to use something called Geometry Generator. Now it's important to point out that doing this does not change your underlying data. You will still have a point file, but when it's drawn in QGIS, it will look like lines. And it's a kind of odd data setup. Uh, we're going to use some data from World Population or World Pop website and I'll show you where I get that from as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to and then you can be updated with new video releases as and when they happen. In this video we'll be looking at Geometry Generator and seeing how we can create lines from a point file. And yes, there's a lot of lines on my screen and these are actually generated from a point file. So, pretty cool, let's get into it and I'll show you how we can create this. To begin with, I went to the World Pop site and downloaded an entire data set for the internal migration. And it's estimated human migration flows between subnational administrative units for malaria endemic countries. So it comes from a World Health Organization report and you can download the entire data set here. When you unzip it, you will get a zip file for each of the countries in Africa. You'll get a CSV and you'll get a shapefile with the centroid of administrative areas as well. In this example, we're going to be looking at Uganda and here's the folder after I've unzipped the Uganda zip file. Um, I've got the admin unit centroids there and then I have this CSV as well with the five years internal migration flows. That CSV looks a little bit like this. So we've got the three letter ISO code for the country and then we have four coordinate columns. We've got longitude from, latitude from, longitude to and latitude to and then we have the migration here. So with two points in each record, that's a little confusing. And when I bring this into QGIS, I'm going to do it by using add layer and go to add delimited text layer. Now I've already done this at the moment, um, but I'll just show you the process just to remind you. So the file format, I'm going to go with CSV and I'm going to choose that file. Migration flows 2010 and we've got the comma selected and our X field is there, our Y field is there, all good. And don't forget to check your table, make sure that everything looks all right, which it does. If I had a different separator, so if I go for tab instead, you can see that the table doesn't look right. We have only one column and everything's bundled into that. So make sure that your separator is set correctly and you get these nice uh, columns. So if I add that and close out of this, you can see that the points have been added. Um, but at the moment, they're just points. And what we're aiming for is this line from a point file. So how do we do that? Well, we can use something that is really rather fantastic and it's called Geometry Generator. So if I open up the style of this, I am going to go for graduated and for the color I'm going to go for spectral and I'm just going to invert that color ramp. There we are. Now the symbol currently is set to a point and that's not what we want. We're after lines. So if I click on this then we can see our marker is currently a simple marker and if I click on that we've got the simple marker there. But what I want to use is geometry generator. So if I select that you can see that we have this window opened up and we've got a little code block down here and a geometry type. Now we know that this is a point file at the moment and it will remain a point file. Geometry generator only changes the look of the data. It doesn't actually change the underlying data itself. So instead of a polygon, I'm going to use a line string. I would like to create a line using the geometry of my CSV file. If I go into the code itself, what I'd like to do is give an instruction or use a command that is make line. And there it is. 
And you can see in the top here, you can start to search for particular commands. And then if you click on it over on the right hand side, it'll tell you what it needs. So for make line, we need a point and then we need a second point. Obviously you need at least two points to make a line. Uh, you can have as many points as you want. So I'm gonna chuck that in, make line. And to begin with, for our start point, we're just gonna use the geometry of the CSV file at the moment. Now, if I was doing this properly, I would probably export my CSV file to a geo package or to a shape file, something like that. But I'm just showing you quickly, so we'll leave it as a CSV and hopefully it will work. So with the make line, we're gonna use the X and Y from our CSV and then I'm gonna add a, co a comma uh, just to make sure that we are putting in a new command. And that new command, instead of using the geometry, we are now going to make our own point. So I'm gonna go from make point. And in order to make that point, I am going to use the longitude two. So currently our CSV is showing the points long from and lat from. And for this new point, I'm gonna use long two and put in a comma and then lat two. I'll close that bracket and I'll close the other bracket. And you can see here that now we've got a geometry as a line string. This sounds like what we want. So I'm gonna okay that. You can see our code pops up there and our symbol has now changed to a line. And if I okay that, Currently, we have got a graduated symbol going on, and I'm going to graduate it according to PRD MIG, which is a value for the migration. And in terms of the classification, I'm going to use natural breaks or jenks, and I'm going to classify that. Off we go. Hit apply, and in the background, you can see that we have a line file created from a point file. Pretty nifty. And if I zoom into this, there you can see we've got different values according to the specific lines, or the migration value rather. Now, for some reason, Q is making exceptionally long lines in the layers panel, and I don't know why it's doing that, but hey ho. So this is just a quick one to show you that a geometry generator does exist and how you can use it. Um, this is particularly messy at the moment. I might change my styling a little bit in order to tidy it up. But for our purposes, that has done exactly what we wanted. All right. So if you have used geometry generator yourself, let me know in the comments if you've got any online maps that you'd like to share using geometry generator, that'd be great. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe. All right, take care and happy mapping.